what's going on silencers Cass here and we're back in rimworld where vlad am deacon pumpkin hackron yang and cork are trying to get off this miserable rock with 7.2 days left until we can launch the spaceship i have yang over here beating up this insect burrow taking care of that problem and uh yeah so if you do enjoy the content don't forget to like subscribe comment all those fun things and thank you very much to my patrons who make all of this possible. But without any further ado, shit. Shower meteorites. Yeah, we are definitely screwed. Yang, get your ass back in here. Ah, uh, the meteorites are over here. Well, I guess we're going to have another uh, raid. Oh, shit, they're all over the place. One, two, three. There's a couple on the inside. Uh, four, five. Well, I don't think they're going to get very far. What the hell is that? Ethereum. Hmm. Those definitely landed in poor spots. I'm glad I don't have the uh, the mortars set to go. That's really not all that bad, all things considered. Actually, it's really not bad at all. Other than some of these damaged some, uh... Actually, let's grab this. Make sure there's no... Stupid amounts of damage. Yang, uh, may die. I am just getting these. Designated as uh, good to mine places. Yang, I won't lie to you. You need to haul ass. Like, bad, bad. I swear to God, you destroy any more of my mortars, I'm going to have a cow. Shoot, damn it. No, oh, Yang, you got to run. You got to run. Run. All of you need to come to Yang's rescue. We're going to do that. It's only got a bruise. Huh, interesting. I guess cataphract armor is way better than I thought it was. Oh, come on. Haul ass. You've got to move faster than that. There's no way you're moving is at 91%. Really? Just haul ass, damn it. Let's see. Those are dead. Though, so, oh, how are you guys doing? Bleeding out in 11 hours. Okay. Yeah, we'll cancel that. We'll mine all that one. Mine all that one. Oh, uranium. Can't turn down uranium. Yang, goddammit. Oh, you seriously still only have one thing wrong with you. That's impressive. Now, all she has to do is get a little closer and those... Uranium slug turrets will help. G 
She doesn't have any special abilities. No, uh, she has the psychic drone ability, but nothing else. Yeah, so we've got that. Then your range is about that far. Great. All right, Am. You do that. What the fuck, Deacon? You just shot Hakrin. And his right lung is gone. Hey, Hakrin. You go get in bed. That robot's still alive? It is. And Hakrin, we are going to have you immediately get operated on to install a new lung. Install lung. Am? Explode. Well, that wasn't very uh effective come on i wish the explosives uh stuck in our targets we can open that one back up Major break right there. Oh, Yang. Yeah, go get taken care of. All right. Well, that was bad. Quite bad. But I think we'll live another day. Yang has tattered apparel. What the hell of yours is tattered? My god, your cataphract armor. Um, well, let's build another cataphract armor. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. That'll make another cataphract armor whenever we can get around to it. Oh, builder bot needs to be repaired. Any of those, any of those, any of those. Excuse me. All right, I'll clean this up and I'll see you on the other side. And Akron uh, is about to get his uh, right lung in, uh, reinstalled, rather. But uh, ER bot's going to patch him up first so his uh <laughs> torso can start to heal and there we go we had a tend quality of 130 percent awesome but uh hackern will get a new lung here in a moment and then should be back on his feet in two days and as we encroach on the very nice 6.9 days what will we see next guesses in the comments below and just like that, Hakron is going to get a new lung. Looks like Pumpkin's going to be the one to do it. And she's going to do it high as a kite, of course, because that makes sense. And this isn't going to be any more than, you know. Oh, this is bad. Would you let a doctor operate on you that was like four blunts into the morning? Or evening? I guess it's 9 p.m., 2100 hours right now, but whatever. I just hope she does it right the first time, because if she nicks his other lung, he, well, he won't die. We have him on the life support, but I would like him back on his feet 
soon. Haha, -ha, perfect. Well, he's all taken care of. I'll see you on the other side. All right, looks like we have a raid. Let's see what we're working with. Oop. <laughs> I have a double raid here in a second. 159 humanoids. Oh, where are they from? They're from... Oitario. So these are the cat people. The Nyankin. All right. Uh, and are they attacking immediately? They will prepare for a while and attack. Uh, they won't have a chance. Well, let's see where this goes. Oh, uh, by the way, we are six days out. Probably back up for a second. See when the barrage happens. Okay, there it goes. Oh, that's so many shots. <laughs> well, time waits for no one, especially the little kitty cats that don't know how to uh, gauge the situation. I think it's safe to say they weren't expecting that. And that's the end of the raid. Wonderful. Holy crap. That was devastating. Okay. Put those back on hold. What the fuck are you doing? In stable health. Not if you're coming towards me or not. Uh, but he thinks he's going to do some. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> he's running off. All right. I'll clean this up and I'll see you in a minute. All right. Now we've got a second raid more black hive bastards they will be attacking immediately so we'll just go ahead and arm those and let her rip lad all your ass back inside now i think i might restrict all of my colonists to the home area Oh, and here comes this. I'm sure I'm going to destroy one of my own robots, but. Now, the only downside to the insects is they don't stop. They don't run away. They never make that mistake. Well, crap. We can. Oh, no, no. Wrong one. Hold your fire. There you go. Um, yep, that's it. Those are the only ones left. All those right there. Should be a pretty straightforward fight, all things considered. Ooh, that one's down. Come on, you can do it. Are we? Yeah, we are. Okay. Super confused for a second. Is that a queen? Oh, that's a royal mega spider. No queens. Ooh, dead royal mega spider. Nice. The carnage. The humanity. Or in that. In. I wonder what that. 
equivalent word for insects would be. Hmm. I don't know. Oops. Tell you these damn robots are gonna get blown up by my own shit. I think I'm gonna let those fire again. Because hopefully they'll aim for mostly back here. Though I can't force them to aim any which direction, so this is probably gonna be a really stupid idea. Or not and they'll do exactly what I want them to I'll be damned that was almost perfect oh my god so these are fission mice what they do basically is they split into three fission mice when they die um, but they can only do that up to three times and we hit one of them and it killed Several generations of it. That's funny. Tony Kaku. I'm going to clean this up. I'll see you in a minute. All right. We're finally there. Four hours. 10th of December. Just a few more minutes away. And she... Uh, so I must have done the math wrong. I guess she'll be in her third trimester when... Uh, when we load up into the ship uh we have we've had two more um big bug raids but they weren't anything special so i didn't really bother with them um oh and these guys i bet are immortals yep immortal and immortal we're gonna get out of here can't believe we're gonna get out of here Yeah, your day's about to suck, honey. You might be immortal. But you are going to... really hate what happens next. Set you to be behead. Beheaded. Oh, three hours. <laughs> We're almost there. I'm still waiting, so the... Um... Does it stay on that one? Uh, options, gameplay, storyteller settings. We have Randy set to a threat scale of 500%. So he should be giving us more challenges than he is. Like, I, I'm, yes, 100 and whatever, blah, 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 is, um, is a lot. But why the hell aren't you standing up? Because you don't have any legs. Got it. I'm going to toy around with that immortal mod a little more. I think in my first... Oh, there we go. Flash storm. Somebody just killed an immortal. And this one's about to get killed too. Shink. There we are. I hear queen music in the background. Just me? All right, fine. Be that way. Two hours. Two hours, and we're off this godforsaken rock. Why isn't... I could have sworn she would have been in her third trimester by now. Maybe I really did the math wrong. Or maybe I have a mod that's fucking with um, how long it takes. We're almost ready to go. Are you going to behead? Yes. What are you doing now? Oh, <laughs> you're out of battery. Got it. 
What's that one do? So if I do this. So that'll stop an immortal from reviving. Huh. Cool. So you can actually keep him dead, more or less. But will their body rot? Hey, there's an immortal too. Gonna go here. Gonna cut your head off. Because we can. And let's see. You are also immortal. So we'll just... Cut your head off. And another strike. Lesser immortal. Lesser immortal. Because none of them have done the whole immortal thing. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make it melee only. And actually have it like a Highlander. That's what the immortals are from, if any of you are confused on that at all. Oh, come on. One hour. One hour. And we're done. We can leave this world behind. It's been a hell of a journey. You guys have been with me through all of it. I very much appreciate that. Oh, soda. <laughs> we made soda just in time. 0.7 hours. Vlad and Am uh, were our first two, actually. Uh, we didn't lose anyone except for Alay. Uh, that one colonist that unfortunately fell to an incredibly um, weird set of circumstances. But she passed. And we buried her for a little while, and then we exhumed her and uh, cremated her as our ideologian, the Slakers of Eternity, demand. We built all of this into the side of a canyon here, the Blood Gulch. Or Blood Canyon, Blood Ravine. What was I calling it again? I don't fucking remember. We uh, didn't really even come close to losing anybody, surprisingly. The ship's ready. All it needs is everybody in a crypto sleep casket. Actually, Vlad, you're going to be last. Enter. 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 Uh, enter. 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 And then we'll grab Vlad. Have him come right down here. Sugar daddy. Uh. Harvest 100 sugarcane plants. Well, don't mind if I do. I don't need any of that shit anymore anyway. Ferment it into rum or something. Pumpkin's going to be the first to get in her casket. Pumpkin, you were a good doctor. You came to us from outside. A horrible place, really. Because it was not us. You weren't... Uh, Obviously, you weren't important to your people because they left you behind. But we took you and we nursed you back to health. Thank you very much. Hakrin, your people wanted us dead more so than probably any other. You've got a fiery temper and a pension for being a pain in the ass and uh, hurting yourself all the damn time. But we're going to take you off this world. Am, you were our faithful companion turned, uh, well, Vlad's wife and eternal companion because you will never understand the sweet kiss of death. 
you're also with child so wherever you go will be the new frontier and a truly new life yang honestly i don't remember how you came to us um but you've been instrumental in taking care of the colony so i can only be but so put off by the memory um Cork, you were just kind of a pain in the ass the entire time, but you did come to us in your time of need, and we took care of you. Now, Vlad, you've been our great leader up to this point. It's time for you to leave this world behind. Enjoy your kingdom wherever you may find it, whether an herb world, a glitter world, or another rim world. I'm sure we'll cross paths again. But who knows? There are a lot of possibilities. And three, two, You've launched the ship. These colonists escaped. Yang, Hakron, Pumpkin, Deacon, Am, Vlad, and Cork. Your machine persona will now try to guide your ship to a safe place. It may find a prosperous planet in the system, or it may undertake a centuries-long journey to another star. It might even decide to hide under ice on an asteroid for a few thousand years, waiting for someone to build a new glitter world here. You'll find out when you wake up. In memory of Alay. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm not playing the music for you because uh, I don't like music. But that has been an amazing journey. I'm glad you guys came along for it. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about it this is our colony what was left of it at least oops <laughs> I guess the story's over but thank you very much for joining me thank you very much to my patrons who made all of this possible and thank you very much for watching and liking and I'll see you in the next one.